What did I get right this week? Well done, John. Give yourself a little round of applause because sometimes I get things right as well. Last Friday, we talked about what did I get wrong? And I encouraged you to write down the things you got wrong and how you can improve and how you can acknowledge that things are when you get things wrong. It's just part of the learning curve. But obviously, if you improve and learn, you're going to get things right. Hopefully, you get things right quite often. But what I'm going to encourage you to do is to think about congratulating yourself. So, so John, what did you get right this week? I hear you ask. Well, let me tell you. Start with the podcast now at Marketing for Owners. <coughs> I have a lot to do. We have a very small team and we work very, very efficiently uh, to produce a lot of content and do a lot of work. Now, I used to do quite a bit in with the podcasting, but now my fantastic assistant, Jennifer, hi Jennifer, um, she takes over everything to do with the podcast other than, other than me, John, standing here in Deal, in Kent, in the UK, in my garden, recording it. Once I record it, I upload this to Dropbox. That is it. End of my involvement. So all I've done is come up with a subject, riffed on it, and uploaded it to Dropbox. End of job. Jennifer does everything else to get these um, uh, and Harvey, of course, who does the editing. So Jennifer and Harvey deal with everything else. I'm off doing other work or watching football or whatever I do. <coughs> so delegated that and gave her the training and delegated it to the right person. So thank you, Jennifer. Congratulations, John. Next one, at my fire protection business, we opened up two new channels to market. Uh, in our marketing. One is catalogue, or we started to open. So we are printing a new catalogue. Now we used to have one quite a while ago, but it took quite a lot of effort of the editing and keeping it up to date. Um, this has now been put out to a designer, brought back and, and it's been passed and I've shown Jake at work what how I would how I do it. We've worked through it as a project management. He's taken over. He's doing a fantastic job. He completely gets it and understands. That's quite it's important. He under, understands the why. Remember, we talked about that. And he understands what it's going to do, how it contributes. So he now is looking after that. These will be going out. They'll be, they'll be redesigned, reprinted every three months, a new one. Job done. My involvement will be, if anything, will be very little. Also, uh, in the same vein, videos. We've, we've had some videos in the fire protection business, but not enough. We wanted a steady way of producing them efficiently, easily, and manageably. We produce a lot of marketing material, material, and again, with a very, very, very small team. In fact, when I say team, most of them are outsourced. So we started producing videos. It has been delegated. Again, to Jake, actually. Jake enjoys editing video. And all I do is turn up, sit down, record the video. Jake sets up the lighting. We have a, we have a kind of in-house studio. Again, we'll talk about this on another, another time. Uh, the lighting costs hardly anything, seriously, to set up. Uh, we record the videos, very, very simple. He's figured out how to edit them in a style that works for us gets them up onto YouTube, gets them onto the website, and we produce three to five every single week. My involvement is roughly half an hour, 40 minutes. That's it. In fact, Jake's is only only a couple of hours. So the whole job, very, very good. I'm pleased with that one. It helps to have good staff, by the way. Uh, another one on another company I have, which is a body sugaring company, um, Alexandra Professional. It was finding, this is working with my partner, on that, Carolyn. Um, we found, or Carolyn found, uh, someone to produce a report. We wanted a report. It had been written, it had been edited, but we weren't happy with the design and neither of us had time to figure it out. Uh, Carolyn stumbled across um, someone, spoke to that person. We've worked with her. 
she's produced a fantastic report at a bargain price. So impressive, we didn't have to uh, have any edits. And so impressive, we've already given her the next project and another one, and I've already got another friend in Canada who wants theirs doing. It is great to find somebody that you can trust to give a job to who gets it, does a fantastic job, and you can just leave them to it and pay the bill at the end. So that's what I did. So, oh, John, oh. that's me patting myself on the back and saying, congratulations, John. For those of you who listen to the audio, just imagine I was patting myself on the back. So unsurprisingly, your weekend challenge is going to do, be to do the same. Get your pen and get your uh, pad or piece of paper out. Write it down. I want you to write between three and five. I prefer it if you could get five things this week that you did right and, and you did well. They can be something so strange as getting one of your members of staff to do something for you that then works out well because you've, that means you've delegated it efficiently and effectively. Down, write that down, but underneath each one, leave a space to write why you did, why that was good, and the result it will give your company, what it does to enable your company to move forward and to progress, or that project to progress, because it's good getting it done, and it's good congratulating yourself, but even better when you can realize what part that plays in the bigger picture. So get that in. So remember, write what you did right, why you got it right, and what part that plays in the progression. And of course, have a great weekend.